Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this lesson video, we're going to talk about how to write numbers in a research paper. Okay, ma'am, bakit po? Pag may numbers po ba, ay hindi po ba as numeral mismo ang pagsusulat niyan? Yes, may mga numbers na sinusulat natin in words. May mga numbers na sinusulat natin sa numeral. So, we write some numbers in words and we write some numbers as numerals. So, let's check this out. Okay, carefully analyze and then put a check if it is correct and put an X if it is wrong. So, just a testing, guys. Number one, there were 209 respondents. Two, 10 experts validated the instrument. Three, results show that 25 grade 3 students participated in the intervention program. Four, there were nine college students who joined the training program. So, which is a check and which is an X. All right, let's check your answers. For number one, it's an X. Because we already have here the word, plus we have here the open and close parentheses, the numeral. So, it should only be numeral. 209. For number two, it's also an X. Why? Because 10 here should be written as word. Number three, it's a check because number 25 should be written as 25 numeral and grade three, three should be written as three. Number four, what's your answer? Okay, it's a check also because we write here or we have here 9 as a word and not as a numeral. So, did you get 4? Alright, let's move on. Okay, numbers in words. In APA, we write numbers 0 to 9 as words. So, we write this way. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, we write these 0 to 9 in words or as words. Example, for the validation, 7 experts were consulted. It's the rule. If it is 9 below, we have to write as words. Okay, so quite easy to remember. Next one, numbers in words also. In APA, numbers at the beginning of a sentence. If we have numbers in the beginning of a sentence, then we write such in words. So, 37 teachers expressed willingness to join the research project. We don't write 37 in numerals, rather in words because based on the rule, it should be written in words if it is at the beginning of a sentence. Okay, and also we have to pay attention to numbers which are hyphenated beginning with 21 up to 99. So we have this hyphen here. Next one, numbers in numerals. So now, no more words, rather numerals. Based on APA format, numbers 10 or more should be written as numerals. So we write number 10, 11, 12, 100, 255 or more. We write them as numerals. So we don't see words here. Example, the study included 100 grade 10 students. So 100 here should not be written in words rather as numerals. Okay, that's the rule. 10 or more. If you are going to think of a clue, just think of two or more numbers. So 10 is two digits, 1 and 0. Two digit numbers have to be written as numerals. Okay? Next one. In APA, chapter, time, score, measurement, amount of money, percentage, age, table, figure, item, grade, and others have to be written in numerals. Look at these examples. Chapter 1, 8 a.m., 5 points, 5 feet, PHP, 10,000, 5 years old, table 2, figure 1, Item 4, grade 5. Although, ang ilan dito ay single-digit numbers based sa general rule, kailangan isulat sila ng 
words. Pero dito, sabi sa APA, kapag itong mga ito na kailangan sila ay isusulat as numerals. So, when we write grade 5, we write grade 5 with numeral 5. Okay? When we pertain to a particular item in the checklist, then we mention item, then we put the number. Okay? So, that's how it goes, guys. Alright, I hope nakatulong sa inyo ang lesson video na ito. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell for more lesson uploads, practical tips, and anything educational. Have fun learning!